we were amazed to find that the Germans have put little lit candles on Christmas trees all along the line as far as we could see. Then we sang our old Christmas songs, Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht, and oh, the Fröhliche, oh, your grace bringing Christmas time. And the Tommies cheered and sang their songs too. The long way to the barrier, the long way to go, and home, sweet home. And then it was still. Hi guys, stand see. Dawn on Christmas morning. There was the usual stand too, of course, everybody manning their posts along this line. And as dawn came, the fog was so thick, you couldn't see your hand in front of you, as they always say. And we took the opportunity, all of us, to get out and fill sandbags, uh, knock up the parapet and get everything repaired. Presently, the fog lifted we were able suddenly to see the Germans doing exactly the same thing all out in the open. We just looked at each other for some time and then one or two uh, soldiers went towards them. And when we are taking our coffee and cake and in our dugout, then suddenly a early jumped in and cried, the tummy has come on and ours are also going upstairs. They met, they shook hands, they swapped cigarettes, uh, they got talking, and, uh, well, everything, uh, the war for that moment came to a standstill. We spoke about the things a soldier has on his mind, about the families and naturally about the mademoiselles in Armandier and Lille. Then we exchanged presents, cigarettes, Tobacco, cigars, cognac, whiskey, and so on. Time wore on. The more senior uh, people way back, uh, brigade, divisional, and corps headquarters all uh, gradually learned what was happening, and it was finally arranged that on New Year's Eve at 12 o'clock, everybody would be back in their places and the war would continue. <laughs>